The Antarctic Snow Cruiser was developed under the direction of famed explorer Admiral Richard Byrd, and it was intended to facilitate transport in Antarctica during the United States Antarctic Service Expedition, 1939. On April 29, 1939, Poulter and the Research Foundation of the Armour Institute of Technology showed the plans to officials in Washington, D.C. The foundation would finance the Antarctic Snow Cruiser with an estimate of $150,000. The Snow Cruiser was 55 feet 17 m long and 15 feet 4, 6 m wide, weighed 45,000 pounds 20 tons, and was designed to house four to five people for a year with all their food, fuel, and equipment. Besides living quarters, it held a science lab, a photography darkroom, an engine room, and a small machine shop. Its wheels were each 10 feet 3 m in diameter, weighed 700 pounds 318 gg, and were made from a special type of rubber that would not break or crumble in the extreme cold. Each wheel could be steered independently with its own motor, a system that would allow the snow cruiser to navigate difficult terrain or cross 15-foot wide crevices. The vehicle was designed for an average speed of 1 to 13 miles 16 to 21 kilometers per hour, with a maximum speed of 30 miles 48 km per hour. Its broad upper deck was designed to carry a small airplane. The snow cruiser was supposed to drive to the South Pole and track Aurora's light displays by charged particles from the sun hitting Earth's magnetic field, but that didn't happen. The machine turned out to be far too heavy for the Antarctic snow. The snow cruiser arrived at Little America in the Bay of Wales, Antarctica, with the United States Antarctic Service Expedition in early January 1940 and experienced many problems. It was necessary to construct a ramp from timber to unload the vehicle. As the vehicle was unloaded from the ship, one of the wheels broke through the ramp. The crew cheered when Poulter powered the vehicle free from the ramp, but the cheers fell silent when the vehicle failed to move through the snow and ice. The large, smooth, treadless tires were originally designed for a large swamp vehicle. They spun freely and provided very little forward movement, sinking as much as 3 feet 91M into the snow. The crew attached the two spare tires to the front wheels of the vehicle and installed chains on the rear wheels, but were unable to overcome the lack of traction. The crew later found that the tires produced more traction when driven backwards. The longest trek was 92 miles 148 km driven completely in reverse. On January 24, 1940, Poulter returned to the United States, leaving F. Alton Wade in charge of a partial crew. During Operation High Jump in late 1946, an expedition team found the vehicle and discovered it needed only air in the tires and some servicing to make it operational. In 1958, an international expedition uncovered the snow cruiser at Little America 3 using a bulldozer. It was covered by 23 feet 7 OM of snow and a long bamboo pole marked its position. Later expeditions reported no trace of the vehicle. Although there was some unsubstantiated speculation that the traction-less snow cruiser was taken by the Soviet Union during the Cold War, the vehicle most likely is either at the bottom of the Southern Ocean or buried deep under snow and ice. Antarctic ice is in constant motion, and the ice shelf is constantly moving out to sea.